it will help me. It will give us the strength. It will help us to see beyond all the things that we are seeing right now. Because now, look, let's look at this. What are the things that does not allow you to cleanse yourself? Think about them. What are the things? What are the things that does not allow you to cleanse yourself? To separate yourself? What are the things? Sin, that's just one. Well, sin is a big word. Many things underneath it. All kind of distractions. All kind of desires. All kind of disobedience. Those are the things. All the fancy in the world. Those are the things. Look at the, look at the Israelite. Now look at this. Do you see what happened when the glory of God entered Egypt? You see what happened in Egypt? When the Lord started all the plagues. It got to a point when all the, I think the sixth plague or seventh plague, from the fourth plague, that in Goshen, Goshen is in Egypt. Goshen is where the Israelites were living in Egypt. That even though Goshen was in Egypt, the plague was happening all over Egypt. But only Goshen didn't have plague. When God brought darkness for three days over Egypt, the Bible said the whole Egypt was in gross darkness that you cannot see, utter darkness. But Goshen had light. How did that happen? The glory of God can do many things. When frog invaded the whole Egypt, when they see Goshen, they pass over. The glory of God can do many things. Now, I'm going somewhere. God now lifted them. When they were going to leave, leave Egypt, when they were going to be, God told them, ask your neighbor whatever you want. They will give it to you. Oh, you don't understand this God. He said, ask the Egyptian that I've been tormenting. Whatever you want. And they start giving them their good. Giving them everything. You don't understand. I'm trying to help you understand something. I start giving them the gold. Giving them everything. They give it to them. How can you be giving your enemy? Your treasure. Not just any other gift. Your treasure. And they start giving it to them. Because the Lord is working. Oh. The Lord will walk in your life. The Lord will walk in my life. Whatever is necessary. Father will give us grace to do it. That the Lord will walk in our life. Now they did that. The Lord now took them out of Egypt. He did many miracles. They got to the promised land. Right? Do you know what they saw? They now saw the Amorite and the Moabite erecting a gold pillar. You know, think about this. A gold statue. Do you know how shiny it will be? That's what is starting us today. They're now erecting a sh They now saw, wow, look at this shining pillar. They are worshipping it. Let's, let us make ourselves too a shining pillar. Because God that has been helping them is invincible. They couldn't see it. See today, you see many things. Because God is invincible, you follow those things. I tell you, we are doing the same thing they are doing, but in a different way. In a different way. In a different way. They now said that, ah, we want to start worshipping this God. They have forgotten that this God in our midst is all that we needed. They forgot that this God in our midst is all we needed. For the 40 years in the wilderness, we saw what he, could, he can do. In Egypt, before we left, we saw what he did. All the nations. You hear what Rehab told the spies? Rehab told the spies that we are terrified. We have heard about your God. What time of Gideon, the, 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 the Ammonite that was terrorizing them, when Gideon went to their camp, what did he hear them say? He said, the God of Israel. They have heard about your God. They know what your God can do. But you know what? You, you abandoned that your God. You now posture the fancy. Ah, you have this wonderful God. But because your friend just bought a new house, all your memory, everything scatter. You are now pursuing house. You have this wonderful God because you, you want to drive the latest car. You forget this God and start pursuing car. Having to see that the enemy has caught you. 